What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy, Ed Honcho, and this is Sauce Sports. If you're not familiar with Sauce Sports, Sauce Sports is a Houston homer channel. So we're talking all sports, but only Houston. We're continuing to know your Texas series, so let's just get back in it to win it. Uh, keep that going today. We're talking about number 65, Mr. Greg Manx, uh, center for your Houston Texans. Uh, just to get into a little bit of it, like I say, if you don't know what the Know Your Texas series is about, we're just splashing a little bit of positivity, helping you get a, a little bit of a background, a little bit of understanding about each and every player on the roster in numerical order, so that way you have a resource to get some knowledge uh, without having to look too far. So like I said, let's just jump back into it. Uh, Greg Manx is born April 23rd, 1992, out of Cincinnati, Ohio. 6'4", 310 guy, went to Toledo, uh, was an undrafted free agent in 2015, coming out of college. Ran a 50840. Yes, I'm using it by cheat sheet. But the interesting thing about this is, as I've been doing research on some of these guys and getting to know some of these guys, it's a lot of them that, you know, you're familiar with their names and, you know, because they're on the team, you know, a lot of these guys are undrafted. But then when you go back and actually see, you know, some things about some of these guys, I can definitely, I didn't know that they performed the way that they did in college. I didn't know that they were as successful as they were. You know, you just see them as undrafted free agents, so you automatically have this stigma. But Let's talk about Max just a little bit. Was a three-time All Mac <clears throat> player um, in the Mac is the Mid American Conference. If you're not familiar, was an All American in 2014, and uh, had a shoulder injury, so that's why he didn't really do the bench. Because I told y'all, like I said, with the offensive lineman, I think bench press is more of a factor. Defensive lineman bench press is more of a factor. So I don't have that because he had a shoulder injury when he did it. Um, but Max came in last year in the presence of of Martin or in the the absence of Martin, not the presence, the absence of Martin, and and did a, a successful job. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the situation is, is now, if he's going to hold down that spot because he's been there and maybe Martin gets moved outside or if there's a, a, a solid competition going on about that. Like I said, if y'all know something about that, you know, y'all got to splash a little bit of flavor because as an ingredient, a.k.a. a subscriber to Soft Sports, you know that makes you an ingredient automatically when you subscribe, and I'll be looking for the flavor from y'all. You know y'all got to drop it in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. Who do you guys think is going to win this competition or – who thinks going to come out on top? I know I was saying that with the with the sauce, with the Know Your Texas, I was just trying to keep it kind of neutral, but it's hard to do. The preseason's coming up tomorrow. I'm I'm excited. I know y'all excited, so I, I got to start talking trash. I got to, you know, I know the depth chart that came out and all that other stuff, but that really don't mean thing, anything. That's just a tentative thing to, to, to get some looks at guys, the way I see it. Um, so, who do you guys think are going to win that competition? Who do you think ultimately is going to be the guy out of, out of Manx and, and Martin? Um but like I say, definitely did a solid job last year. I have no real complaints about what he did. He had a great performance. So when you have all these people who say that our O-line is not that good, we got even though we lost some, some pieces, we also have some upgrades coming back that we never got a chance to see play. Um, and so I definitely think there's going to be some improvement once the health situation gets fixed up and once the, the holdout situation gets fixed up, I think everything's going to come together. But like I said, we just splashed a little bit of flavor on Mr. Manx here. You guys let me know how you feel. How do you feel about his performance last year? Do you think that he came in and did a suitable job? I think he did, you know, excellent for the situation in which he was put in. Um, also a versatile guy who could play a little bit of guard too. So, you know, if, if the, if the um, center thing doesn't work out, he, he definitely has a, a, the potential to start maybe at a guard position or something like that. But that's why you, I root for a lot of these undrafted free agents and a lot of these UDFAs because, you know, the expectations are so low. So when they succeed and they do well, man, you know, just to upset that status quo, that's, that's awesome to me. I love that. But with that being said, like I told you, all we stirring up the sauce. We just – we making it quick and fresh. We didn't brought in a new recipe for the rest of the Know Your Texan series because I know, like I said, y'all ain't trying to sit there and watch me talk for 10, 15 minutes about nobody. So – First and foremost, go to SaltSports.com, the new and improved SaltSports.com. I'm telling y'all, go check that shit out. It, go check it out. Go join the forum. Go get in that flavor forum. Come drop your sauce. You know what I'm saying? We, we definitely love that. And then when you get there, go hit that shop button. And go check out all that Salt Sports gear that's available. Everybody who can cop the shirts already. Like I said, I'm trying to do some things and trying to grow as we go. So go get some of that gear. Go get one of them hats. You know what I'm saying? Go get your grandma one of them hats. She'll be fly as hell, dripping flavor on all the ladies at the at, at church and all that shit. You know, you'll get her that Salt Sports hat. She'll love that shit. But with that being said, man, it's your boy Ed Hunter. Catch me at Salt Sports HDX on Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube ch channel if you haven't. If you're not watching this on YouTube somehow, some way, subscribe to the YouTube channel at Salt Sports. Go to SaltSports.com and check out the articles. Check out everything going on there. Salt Sports, the Facebook page, trying to get that to 100 likes. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could just go over there, click it, give me a like, show me some love, help me get there. I think I'm at 75, need about 25 more. Xbox Honcho Saucy, as you can see to the right, and the real Ed Honcho. 
on Instagram and Twitter if you just, you know, fuck with Ed Honcho for the randomness. But with that being said, Sauce Nation, man, I got so much love for each and every one of y'all and everybody who show love, who comment, who subscribe, who just watch the video, who thumbs down each and every one of y'all. I don't really care if y'all spend a little bit of time, y'all waste some time with your boy Honcho, man. I got nothing but love for you. With that being said, deuce up. I'm out. Sauce Nation. Y'all be cool like y'all be cool. And I'm going to see y'all on the next video coming up soon.